Hi, my name is Satesh Patel. I'm a solution architect with F5 Networks, and today we'll see a quick demo of layer 4 through 7 service deployment utilizing the F5 Big IP platform and Cisco's 8 bit controller. First, we'll upload an IAP template to our Big IP system. IAP templates provide a way to automate layer 4 through 7 service deployment on the Big IP platform. Here, we've selected our App Services integration IAP and we'll upload it to the system. Once it's uploaded, it is now available for use in automating layer 4 through 7 services on the Big IP platform. Next, we'll utilize our Big IQ orchestration platform to expose a service catalog of IAP driven layer 4 through 7 services. We'll start by adding our device into Big IQ. This is the same Big IP device that we previously uploaded the IAP template to. We'll then create our Cisco APIC connector. By creating this connector, we enable dynamic creation of device packages that expose our Big IQ service catalog as service functions within the APIC infrastructure. The service catalog functionality of Big IQ allows F5 to present a simplified view of a complex layer 4 through 7 service to the Cisco APIC infrastructure. This allows our customers to simplify deployment rather than exposing all the complexity that comes along with layer 4 through 7 services. We'll now create two examples of service catalog templates. The first, HTTP Simple, allows us to deploy a feature rich HTTP virtual server with a minimal amount of input. As we edit the template definition here, you'll see that we're doing two primary things. We're changing the default inputs to the template to drive the deployment behavior, and we're also marking certain fields as tenant editable. When you mark a field as tenant editable, this cues the system to include this field in the dynamic device package and then expose that field within the Cisco APIC infrastructure for input. Next, we'll create an example of an HTTPS deployment. As you can see here, we are only changing the inputs to this service catalog template. As we change the inputs, we can drive a different deployment behavior from the underlying IAP template installed on Big IP. Using this methodology, we can expose a huge number of layer 4 through 7 use cases with a very simplified interface. The job of the F5 administrator then becomes driving inputs and creating service catalog templates that meet business use cases rather than configuring the discrete elements and objects on the Big IP system. We'll now go in and download the dynamic device package that's been created by Big IQ. To do this, we go into the connector and click the download link. Next, we'll go into the Cisco APIC interface and upload the dynamic device package created by Big IQ. As you can see, as we expand out the service functions, we see our service catalog items listed as service functions in Cisco APIC. As we go into the function profiles that were created, you can see the fields that were exposed. In this example, we only check the tenant editable option on the fields shown here. As a result, we can drive a simplified deployment that then layers on the defaults in the catalog entry and deploys the application to Big IP. Next, we'll create our layer 4 through 7 device cluster. In this example, we're using an F5 virtual edition running in vCenter. We're also only going to use a single device for this cluster. We fully support all of our physical appliances and a full highly available setup utilizing device service clustering. You'll notice here that we change the cluster IP to point to the Big IQ system. Additionally, when we're configuring the base parameters for the device, we specify the management IP address of the Big IQ system so that layer 4 through 7 service deployment is routed through the Big IQ host. We're continuing by configuring some additional base parameters for the device. and then we'll click Finish to create our device cluster. If 
As we view the device cluster, we're looking for a device state of stable. This can take a couple of minutes. In the background, Big IP is being configured by Cisco APIC and brought into the infrastructure. We'll now create a service graph with Cisco APIC. We'll start by tying a service graph template to our HTTP simple service function. We'll then deploy a service graph using this template. We configure our EPGs and our contract name. We select our layer 437 device and then proceed to fill in our service parameters. We'll populate our self IP addresses. As you can see, this is quite a time consuming step. Anything we can do to reduce the amount of input at this layer helps speed up the delivery of the application. We'll then proceed to our function config. Here we see the two fields that we marked as tenant editable exposed. We'll add two pool members. And finally, we'll configure the virtual server IP address. We'll click finished and switch over to Big IQ to monitor the deployment. As you can see, we've created a tenant, some servers, and an IAP application deployment. And we can see the application is being placed on Big IP. Soon, we'll see the statistics populate, and that's our indication that the deployment was successful. We'll switch to Big IP, switch to our APIC partition, and you can now see the rich config that we've deployed with a very simple input. We'll look at our virtual server properties. Now we'll deploy the HTTPS simple service function. To do that, we'll create our service graph template and then deploy a service graph using this template. We'll populate our EPGs and contract information as before. This time, we can skip the network config since it was configured in a previous step. This, however, should not be done in production. We'll populate our pool members and our virtual server IP address, and we'll switch them to Big IP to monitor the deployment. As you can see, we've created a new IAP deployment, and we'll switch to Big IP to view the config. As you can see here, we've created our client SSL profiles for SSL offload, and we've also created things like an HTTP to HTTPS redirect virtual server. 